Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're keeping lovely and cosy this Christmas time because in today's video I wanted to share with you my relaxing pamper evening with a few of my self-care favourites. When it comes to self-care, I like to think that there isn't really a right or wrong answer as to what it is as I believe self-care is very personal. It's about how it makes you feel and what helps you to distress. So I'm currently finishing up for the day and one of my self-care favourites is planning and organising for the next day. I like to do this so I'm mentally prepared for the next day or it's something I like to do on a weekly basis to help control my stress levels and ensure I don't get too overwhelmed, whether it's to do with work or life projects or the boring old finances. After I've finished dinner, it's time for my favourite time of the day and that's doing my skincare routine. But before that, I'm just going to start running a bath and lighting some candles. When it comes to having a bath, I like all the fluffiness. So bubbles, oils and salts. I've run out of my bath oil so I'm currently using the Elemis facial oil. It's great as a substitute, it smells amazing and it leaves my skin feeling ultra smooth. Then I go in with the West Lab bath salts which is rich in magnesium, calcium and potassium leaving the skin feeling super soft and relaxed. Now on to doing my skincare routine. Recently my skin has broken out due to a hormonal imbalance so I'm just making sure I thoroughly take off my makeup. So I'm starting with the organic pharmacy carrot cleansing balm. It just melts away my makeup and SPF and helps to balance my complexion. I then follow this up with the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. It contains three ceramides to help protect the skin's barrier while retaining natural moisture. Another self-care favourite of mine is to apply a face mask. I don't know what it is about face masks, but they give me a sense of having my life put together and it helps me to relax as well. My current favourite is the Floroga Oxygen Glow Mask. It's my ultimate luxury treat as it just brightens up my skin. Sometimes when I'm in the bath, I love reading a book I'm currently reading the Sophie Kinzella, however, most of the time I just mindlessly scroll on Instagram or watch a YouTube video. I've now switched to Christmas PJs to get into that festive mood and these PJs are from Chelsea Piers which I was kindly sent last year. They don't currently have this style available unless you wanted children's sizes, so I'll link a few favourites down below because honestly these are the most comfortable and soft PJs I've ever owned. So now we're fresh out the bath and into some cosy PJs. It's time to do the rest of my skincare routine, but first I'm just going in with this scalp massager. This has got to be one of the best inventions ever. If you're like me and you love having a head massage, then you're going to need one of these. Usually I use this the night before I wash my hair, just to loosen up any product buildup. I'm then going to go in with my favourite spray, this is the Boots Spray, as it ensures my complexion is kept hydrated and is something I use in between pretty much each step. The next product is the Ordinary Zinc and Niacinamide. This helps to tackle the appearance of enlarged pores and regulate sebum and as you can see I've broken up pretty badly so this is going to help keep my skin calm. I then go in with the Inky List Polyglutamic Acid. This is amazing, especially for dehydrated skin. To finish it off, I'm going in with the CeraVe PM Night Moisturiser. It helps to strengthen the skin's barrier and it leaves my skin calm and comfortable. 
Next for the evening, we're going in with a little bit of baking. I've been waiting for this all week, but now it's time for another favorite self-care of mine. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I'm particularly baking pretty much every week. Usually I do bake triple chocolate cookies, but today, as it's nearly Christmas, I decided to follow a recipe from Pinterest and go for shortbread. I will include a recipe link down below if I can find it. If not, I will put the full recipe in the description box. After relaxing on the sofa a bit, I'm heading back into the kitchen to make a hot chocolate ready to watch a Christmas film. And of course, you have to have marshmallows, white chocolate, cream, and just to add a little bit of festivity, I've added some sprinkles and a candy cane, which was a really good idea, by the way. It gives your hot chocolate a really nice peppermint taste. I hope you guys have enjoyed my relaxing pamper routine. Comment down below if you've got a pamper night scheduled this week. Don't forget to subscribe as I'd love to have you and I hope to see you in my next video.